All right, today's video, we're going to cover how to do random sampling uh, or in the event that you have a data set and someone says, hey, give me a random sample of 10,000 or 10% uh, so forth. Uh, this is a very uh, good way of applying a random integer or a random number to your, like each row, and then you can specify a filter on said row uh, to output a random sample. All right, so first off, what we're doing is we're using the AdventureWorks 2016 database uh, that we've mentioned in previous videos where we've restored it, gotten it out from Microsoft's GitHub, and uh, we're using the table person, the schema person as well. So if I go into my database, uh, we are selecting into person dot person, and we've removed some of the columns that we're not really, we don't care about. Uh, just to go ahead and run this, as you can see, let me move this up some. And we have a, a very basic data set here. And this would mimic a situation where you have a customer list and you want to randomly target 10% uh, out of your out of your target or out of your uh, data set. And we uh, need to, to do this randomly instead of just objectifying uh, assigning a number or selecting, you know, top 1,000 or so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with new ID, which should return, go ahead and call this random ID. But right now, this new ID, I'm just going to show you. It should output this uh, crazy hash key, and that's not really useful. So the next step what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a checksum, parentheses. Let's go ahead and uh, close this out. This should give us a positive or negative uh, long number. So this is where we're converting that hash into a random number. But these numbers aren't exactly that usable. So uh, we're going to take it one step further. And we're going to take the absolute value of this random number. And we're going to mod it or percent sign. We'll start out with 10. And what this is going to do is sort of like an intile. It's going to it's going to uh, want first convert all of, all of these numbers into a positive number, right? We're going to run this, and then because we've um, mod ten or we've you know percent percentile ten, um, you can see here zero through nine. It's it's taken that random number and um, bucketed it by a particular number. So in this case, this is a really good way. Let's go ahead and uh, subquery this so that we can. So if we select into this from, uh, let's, let's bring this down so you can see. We're going to make this first query. Let's uh, tab this out just so you can see it a little bit, a little, little bit easier. Like that. And then here, we're just going to do all. We'll do x or alias dot all. And then we've named that random ID. So here now that we've, we've basically bro broken out this whole data set, 19,972 records um, into uh, 10, like 10% 10 buckets. So it's a really good way is if, if someone says, hey, give me, give me a random 10% sample of this data set, you could then say where random uh, ID equals zero run this and now we have 19 yeah so actually we can what we can do is just to show you random id we'll do a count call this total and then we'll group by since we have an aggregate function group by by random id and then let's order by uh, random ID, and you can see the distribution here. It's all uh, due to the randomization and the hash and the absolute value. You, you do get a little bit of disperse, but um, this this works out. This is a, a a really good mathematical way to randomize a particular set. Now, something else you can add is where I have this um, percent sign ten. If you needed, let's say five percent, you could do twenty. And then if we just run this inner query here, you can see now our random ID goes from 0 to 19. If you needed uh, to even get more granular and break this down to 
if someone said give me 13 percent or or so forth you can you can just keep um working with this and here you go so now we have zero to 100. so this is a really good way to take a especially in marketing when you if you do any uh, targeted campaigns email marketing sms mms marketing this is a really good way to work with a data set and then you can break this out into your control and target groups all right well thanks for watching the video if you have any questions or comments please leave those down below this is uh yeah thanks for watching